Recently, Raven's been ramping up a bit more in terms of communication. In the last three weeks or so, we've seen three meetings with community members, one that I was lucky to be a part of as a part of a pre-season two reloaded sort of debriefing, and then one recently with streamer TP, and another one recently with Swag. Now, we've covered what was said in the first two, but Swag's interview with the Warzone team turned out to be a little bit more interesting with quite a bit of details on what's upcoming, both in the near future and the distant future. Today, we're going to be breaking down all that you need to know so that you're in the loop and know what to look out for. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Is there anything in particular that you're really looking forward to out of this? What do you hope to see added, whether mentioned or not? But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay there with all things Warzone, Modern Warfare 2 here, potentially in the near future, Vanguard, anything COD related as we're on that road to half a million subscribers. And hey, before we jump into it, if you're at all interested, I just uploaded to my second channel for the first time in like five to six years. So if you guys are interested in games, playthroughs, guides, or anything else, I think I'm gonna try and stick with it over the coming weeks and well into 2022 here. So if you'd like to check that video out, that being a review video of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, or checking out the channel in general, links in the description below, but don't sweat it if you don't want to. I appreciate your time here or there, no worries. But anyways, Warzone. Now, this intel comes from Raven Developers, and again, Swag's Twitch channel here, in which he conducted a sort of interview with these guys, Ted Timmons and Josh Bridge. We've talked about them before. That's who was a part of the last two that we've talked about, both the one with TP and the one before Season 2 Reloaded. What was discussed covers a wide range of things across, say, Caldera changes, some smaller things, and then some bigger things going into Season 3, and as far out as potentially Warzone 2. So, starting out with some Caldera stuff, the things that are on the horizon, it seems like, one thing that was mentioned was the points of interest, how a lot of the action is really just on the outside of the map. As opposed from peak and maybe fields, there's not a whole ton that really incentivizes playing towards that middle map. Everything's kind of on the outskirts, and that was something that was acknowledged, and the Raven team here ended up stating that we'll have new points of interest and additional point of interest changes in the next few seasons here, with more coming in Season 3, which is definitely nice. I definitely think that what we saw with Factory was a nice sort of incentive to come down to that location that otherwise I wouldn't before beforehand. The bunkers are pretty cool as well. So to see continual adjustments and larger scale changes here like that, I'm all for it. They also mentioned that Geo would be a little bit more easily accessible. There's still a ton of areas around the map, I'm sure you guys have noticed as well, that definitely needs ironed out. So that should hopefully be something we see within Season 3 also. When it comes to the point of interest changes here, this actually might be something that we do see a little bit more of as opposed to what we saw with Verdansk. This is something we'll talk about and touch on a little bit later in the video as well, but Caldera was built out to be more sort of hardware friendly, where they have more to work with in terms of the technical side of things, that it's not pushing the limitations of each console like Verdansk was. So with that in mind, we might actually see more points of interest actually added to Caldera, whereas Verdansk, we kind of just had to adjust stuff that was already existing there. Memory is always a big thing when it comes to things of this scale, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, as for some smaller things here for Caldera and in the future, one thing that was mentioned was the prospect of BR200 returning, and that was something that Honestly, that was one of my favorite game modes I think we ever saw within Warzone. That happened, I want to say, twice in Verdansk, across original Verdansk and Verdansk 84, but it was something we've only seen in a very limited capacity, and for less than a week both times, I'm pretty sure. That was something that was met with a sort of non-answer on a definitive, where again, they brought in sort of technical limitations as something that was a concern, but again, with Caldera being something that's built out to have more memory to work with, maybe that is possible, where those sort of things actually are a lot easier to do, and maybe we do see it in the near future a little further. Maybe Season 3. And speaking about Season 3, one thing that was also mentioned here with this was that the Raven team mentioned that we'd see substantial weapon tuning happening within Season 3. And that's something that we kind of thought would happen here. We talked a little bit about that one if we talked about some weapon buffs and nerfs in Warzone, but we mentioned the next big stuff probably wouldn't happen until the next seasonal update. That seems to be the case here. They mentioned specifically snipers, rifles, and that long-range balance is going to be in question with 300 HP. That 50 HP increase, of course, offers up about one to two shots more than it takes to kill on average snipers not so much obviously but by adding 50 more hp universally that definitely does throw off a little bit of some of that weapon balancing and so therefore is subject to change seems like season three is going to be when they tackle this but one thing that also stemmed out of this seasonal talk was the kind of curious rumor that Season 6 might not exist for this year of Vanguard and Warzone. This kind of deviates over into the Vanguard side of things as well, and this rumor was something we've heard for a little bit now also outside of just Warzone, and I think it was first stemmed out of the fact that both Season 1 was delayed, 
Then we had an extension on season one with a season two delay. And then season two here already has been extended by about a week or so off the top of my head from where that end date was initially whenever season two launched. So we've already had a handful of delays for these seasons. And when you just look at it on a calendar, if you're having the same time frames, you're just running out of space between when a game would actually launch. So we'll have to see how that all shapes up. We don't quite know. Maybe it's something that season five is actually that end point where season five ends with the launch of Modern Warfare 2. That's possible because maybe Modern Warfare 2 is that reset. We saw that it was sort of the baseline for the seasons with Modern Warfare 2019. So who's to say that doesn't happen again? And we don't have that sort of month of bleed over period from a season six before it resets to a season one of the next game's seasonal content. But anyways, looking that far out, we actually did get some insight into Warzone later on down the line. And this is where we start to kind of go over into the prospect of a Warzone 2 because it is quite quite far out there. Swag ended up mentioning if there would be something like a prestige system revamp or something that gave rewards for those that grinded out the game. And this was something that was met with that idea of, yeah, they do want to revamp the system that we have in place right now, but it's not something that they're going to actively be able to do right now. So again, more so, I would imagine, with Warzone 2 here after Modern Warfare 2 actually launches and we may see a revamp and how that system works with that game. But to be able to bring the idea and that feeling of an OG prestige system back would be awesome to have. And actual prestige rewards, I still always think back to Advanced Warfare and even World War II to a degree. World War II was not exactly what Sledgehammer wanted to do with those rewards. They wanted to do stuff kind of similar to Advanced Warfare, but from what I've heard, they actually got in pretty big trouble over that with Activision. It cost them quite a bit of money to give out those free blueprints. But anyways, that's a whole different story for a different day. But if we can actually get rewards like that, that are worth grinding out to master prestige and then some, I would absolutely do it. Right now, I have absolutely no reason to really grind out Warzone, Vanguard, whatever the case. My atomic grind is done. My weapon leveling is all done. And that's really evidenced by the time that I put into Season 6 of Black Ops Cold War with that launch of Vanguard as well. And then Season 1. I mean, I think I was like level 850 or something like that in Season 6. And then I was 600 and something in Season 1. This season, I just passed recently level 200 of Master Prestige. So, like, there's nothing to really grind out long term. But if there was any reward at all, you already know I'd be grinding that out. Additionally, though, one other thing that was mentioned, like, long term, Swag ended up mentioning if we'd end up seeing some sort of shooting range, like how we saw within World War II, within Advanced Warfare. And that was something that Josh Bridge and Ted Timmons both mentioned that they thought this should be a franchise feature, something that every game should have going forward. And that's something that is kind of hopeful for the future, but right now they said that they just can't do it. There's not the memory, there's not the space, they'd have to rebuild an entire main menu, build out an area for that, and so therefore just get incredibly sloppy and... Well, we kind of know how Vanguard's integration with Caldera went, so do we want to risk that again? But long term, that could be something that we do see here for Warzone 2, and for that, I'm all on board for that. Now, outside of that, there was just a lot of small talk and small things that may not be as much of a concern to you, but a lot of this, especially this last stuff, I don't really see happening until Warzone 2. I think that a lot of the major changes we'll see in terms of fundamentals to Warzone is probably going to be likely withheld until Warzone 2. What we have from now until Season 5 or Season 6, whenever this sort of chapter of Warzone finishes up, I kind of think that what we'll see is a lot of quality of life changes and working what we have with Caldera, which isn't anything terrible, but it's not something that I would expect these major changes, like a shooting range or a new prestige system, or hell, even FOV that we've been all talking for and asking for for almost three years now at the point of when Warzone 2 will be in the topic. So that kind of stuff, I think we'll see withheld, but I do applaud Raven for in this sort of waiting time that we're kind of in before Modern Warfare 2 and a Warzone 2, they're at least trying to seemingly do a little bit more to make the experience a little bit more enjoyable. And what I really like is the fact that we've had communication and transparency as of recently. In the last three weeks, again, we've seen like three interviews or pre-briefings happen in that point where they're upfront, blunt and all. That's refreshing. I absolutely love when devs are like, okay, here's what's going on. They're not just working behind the scenes. I love that kind of stuff. So if this can keep up, we end up getting more information maybe on a weekly, bi-weekly basis. I would be totally cool with that. It keeps people enlightened when it comes to a game they may care about, and therefore I think keeps them interested and in maybe even on the game longer. But for right now, that's what we have here. Quite a bit of interesting stuff if you ask me, but let me know how you feel down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys looking forward to any of these changes? Do you think that we'll see some maybe happen before Warzone 2? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss 
us a single thing regarding all things Warzone, all things maybe Modern Warfare 2 here in the near future. Whatever the case, anything COD related, we've got you covered here on the channel. So if you're interested, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.